today we are going to do bucket drumming. So you should find in your house um, some kind of bucket. This is a five gallon uh, bucket from our classroom. Maybe you have one of those orange Home Depot buckets would be great. And you'll notice I took off the handle. So that handle's not gonna help you at all in the sound. So hopefully you can remove the handle. You might have a big white bucket, some kind of paint bucket. Here comes Emmett. I'm teaching a lesson, Emmett. Okay, so make sure you have parent permission before you empty the bucket. Um, the best kind of bucket you're gonna find has a ridge on it. Don't know if you can see that, but a ridge is a raised area around the bottom. And, um, oh, and what are you gonna use? What are you going to use as sticks? So I'm using two wooden spoons uh, that my mom gave me actually, and they have drum ends at the end. So, so some kind of wooden stick is gonna be great. Uh, I also have these rhythm sticks would have been fine. Um, so experiment with what you have in your house. Um, if your bucket is not as big, that's fine too. Uh, so what sounds can you make with a bucket drum? So make sure you take off that handle too, if you have a handle on there, because that's going to interfere with your sound. So I'm sitting on an ottoman that I also brought to the classroom and then brought home. Um, it's about the same height as the drum, which is going to help me play because uh, you don't want access to all of these things on the ground. So if you have um, something you can set on a box, a stool, any of those things are fine. So now let's make some sounds, huh? So your, um, the first sound that we're gonna talk about is your hi-hat. So um, that's the thing on the drum kit where it looks like two cymbals crashing together and there's a little pedal and you go Shh. Okay, so we're actually not even gonna use the bucket for that. We're gonna use the floor. So um, I have a nice fake wooden floor. So that makes exactly the sound I'm looking for actually. And then uh, what do you have on the drum? Uh, your bass sound is gonna be the middle of the drum. And then you can also get a more bassy sound by lifting with your foot. So I'm lifting with this foot here. And you can also, just putting it down makes a sound. So there's a lot of options in here. Okay, so that just some, some uh, coordination bit, okay? And then for a snare, to make a true snare sound, you hit both this, the side of the drum and the middle of the drum together at the same time. Um, that's a bit complicated for us to do in a virtual lesson right now. So we'll just hit the middle of the drum, it's fine or the rim of the drum. So we have hi-hat, we have uh, middle, we have the rim, we have middle with the bass up, and uh, you have your sticks, um, and the last sound we have, oh, sides, so. So you can make all kinds of combinations of sounds with the bucket drumming. Okay, so now we are going to learn five basic rhythms to play on the drum. So, really easy, the first one is four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Every quarter note gets a single beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if we put that on the drum, Right now I'm just playing with my right stick. Let's alternate. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This time just the left stick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Our next rhythm pattern is called the front beat, which means that you play on the first part of the measure uh, and then our silent. So it's got a quarter note, rest, quarter note, rest. So ta, sh, ta, sh, or one, three, one, three. So you, I was moving my sticks to show you the two beats that were silent on. One, three, one, three. So on the drum, right, Okay. 
Okay, so the back beat is just like the front beat, but instead of one and three, we do it on what beats? Two and four, right? The second half. So one, three, So that's the back beat. All right, our next rhythm is uh, eighth note rhythm. So we're going to double time it. One and two and three and four. So we got the quarter notes are ta, 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 ta. But eighth notes are two notes per beat. So we have ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti. Those quarter notes. Double time uh, to for eighth notes instead. All right, so ta ti ta ti ta ti ta. So we can use our sticks right now. One and two and three and four. I put the and in uh, to represent the second half of one beat. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. So we've learned four rhythms so far. The front beat. One, two. Three, four. The downbeat, one, two, three, four. The backbeat, one, two, three, four. Eighth notes, one and two and three and four. And then the last thing we uh, need to learn is the upbeat. One and two and three and four. So it's, you're gonna count the eight notes, one and two and three and four, but you're only going to make the sounds on the and. One and two and three and four. So now you know the five basic rhythms for, for bucket drumming. The front beat, one and three. One, two, three, four. And you know the down beat on all four beats, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then the back beat is only on two and four. One, two, three, four. And you know the eighth note rhythm. and then the upbeats, only on the ands. One and two and three and four. So you know all five of those rhythms. So now you're ready to practice with the next video. You're gonna hear um, some tracks and uh, that will help you keep the beat to the rhythm. And then I'll see you in the third video um, to learn our Imagine Dragons routine. All right, so follow, follow the playlist to the next video and then I'll see you back to learn Imagine Dragons.